Salam guys, this is Hisham from the Reviewer channel. Today I'll walk you through to the best hidden tips and tricks that I found in the newly announced OnePlus 8T. OnePlus 8T comes with a new OS which is the Oxygen OS 11 and this Oxygen OS 11 is coming to the older generation from OnePlus starting from the OnePlus 7 onward to the latest devices. So although the video titled as OnePlus 8T tricks, however, it applies to most of OnePlus devices. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. Also like the video, share it if you can, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And without further ado, let's start our video. So let's start with the things that you can do from the lock screen. Now, first thing you would notice here that you can actually draw on the screen to open a certain apps or certain setting. For instance, if I draw V, it will turn on the flash. One more time, it should turn it off. If, if you draw an O, it will launch Google Chrome because I have set this up in the setting menu, which I'll show you how to do it right now. So basically you go to settings, buttons and gestures, quick gestures, and here you can see five letters O, V, S, M and W. You can customize them the way you want. So for instance, if I draw an M, it can open the camera, record video, turn or turn off the flash, open shelf, or open an app that you have installed in your phone. Let's go back. I'd recommend turning on this feature fingerprint screenshot. So basically, if you swipe with three fingers, it'll take a screenshot. Now let's go back to the lock screen and I'll show you another tip, which is regarding this fingerprint. So we know that if you press once, it will unlock the phone, but if you press and hold, it will give you another option with four shortcuts for now, but you can add more if you want to. So for instance, you can open up the calculator straight away from the lock screen. And let me show you how to turn it on. You go to setting again, you go all the way down to utilities, quick launch, and from here, turn on the quick launch also, go to setting, and here you can add shortcuts. So you can choose from the preset menu here, or you can switch to apps and then just add any app. So for instance, Google Pay. Now if I press and hold, I will see Google Pay has been added to the shortcuts list. And by the way, for Google Pay, you can turn it on easily from the power buttons. So if I press and hold, It'll give me the option to add a payment method or pay using Google Pay. Now, if you like these tips and tricks so far, please support the channel by hitting the like button. And if you sub to the channel, that would be amazing because there's a great content coming in your way. Thank you in advance. Now let's lock the screen again and check the always on display. It's a new feature which wasn't there in any of the OnePlus phones before. And it was only introduced in Oxygen 11 with the Android 11. So how to turn it on? You unlock the phone, go to setting, you go to customization, and here you can customize the canvas, the wallpaper, the clock style, the fingerprint, animation, and horizon light, which is actually a light that comes on the edges when there's a notification. So what we're interested in in the clock style, here you'll find a lot of clock style. You just choose the one for your liking, Let's say this one, you hit save, and that's pretty much it. You just lock the phone, and now the always on display will show you the analog clock, along with some notification when there is a notification from the apps over here. Now let's talk about the home screen. When you get the phone, if you swipe down, it will actually open up the shelf, which is a feature in OnePlus phones. Normally we were able to view it if we swipe right or left, but now with Oxygen 11, if you swipe down, you'll get this shelf. Personally, I like to see the notification whenever I swipe down. So how to change it? You pinch like so, you go to home setting. Now swipe down to access. Now it's set on shelf. So just select notification and quick setting, hit save. Now, when you swipe down, you'll get the notification bar. And let's go back to the same menu and change things a bit. Here, there's a Google feed. So basically, if you swipe left, you will see Google feed. If you don't like it, you can just disable it from here. Now, if you swipe left, there is nothing. Go back. I like it, so I'm going to enable it. And in launcher layout, you can enable or disable the drawer. This is up to you. I like the drawer, so 
I'm going to leave it like this. And the last thing in this menu is the hidden space, how to access the hidden space. You move your fingers like so, it will open up a hidden space. Here you can add some apps to be hidden. For instance, let's hide Google Drive. So you click once, you click OK, and that's it. So now the Google Drive app is hidden from the drawer and nowhere to be found. If you want it, you do this and you'll see it here. Also, you can actually protect this space with a password. So if you enable password and then just add your fingerprint, for instance. Now, if I log the device, open it up and then open up the hidden space, it'll ask me to scan my fingerprint. I scan it and I'll see the app. Also, there is a new way of hiding photos, folders and files by going to the file manager, scroll down to lock box. Obviously, you can set up a password here or use your fingerprint. Once you're there, you can just click here, new folder, and then type in the name of the folder and move some files in here. It will be password and fingerprint protected. Let's quickly talk about the gaming mode. So there is a game space here. If you open it up, you will see all the games that you have in your phone and you can see the statistics of this game. So how much time you actually you've wasted in your life playing this game, which is 0.4 hours, which is fine. And you can see the dates here. Also, when you are in the game, so you just launch Asphalt 9. Now, if you swipe from this side, you can see the temperature, the time, the battery, and you can also screen record or enable the phonetic mode, which is another gaming mode. There is also a new feature in the notes app. So in notes, you can actually transcribe now. So if you hit this button, it will actually transcribe everything you say in real time. Which might be very handy if you're listening to a seminar or having an interview with someone. And now let's talk about floating window and split screen. So basically, you just need to swipe up from here and then let's say Google Chrome. You hold down and then click free form. Here, you can actually resize the window or move it around. Also, you can have it as a split screen as well. So if I do this, uh, let's say press and hold, split screen, and then the calculator, one click, it will split screen between these two apps. And then you can enlarge or resize the windows as you like. And now let's wrap up the video by showing you two main settings for all these features. So all of these features that you can see in Oxygen 11 are found in two areas. The first one is the button and gestures, and I showed you all of this before. And the second one is under utilities. Here you can see the other features like parallel app, where you can have two apps or two instances from the same app the app locker which is basically a way to protect your apps so if you select to add an app let's say the google chrome then if i go back if i open up chrome now it will ask me to put in a password or a fingerprint and give you the pop-up here app will remain unlocked until the screen is turned off so basically if i open it again it would be open however if I screen lock it and then if I try to open it again, it'll ask me for the fingerprint. Let's go back to the utilities. And here there's a scheduled power on off, which you can do. And then quick reply and landscape. Also, this is a feature you can enable or disable as of your liking. This was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did so, please help the channel by giving me the like. Also, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much, guys, and see you soon in the next one.